Du, 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 du. Bon dimanche tout le monde! C'est moi Diane. Happy Hard Sundays. It has been a while, I know, but I've been busy. What can I say? And I have a special, special guest for you today, the lovely Holly McWilliams from Indigo Arts. Yes, Queen! <laughs> hello, hello, hello! <laughs> She's been a dear friend of mine for a long, 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 long time. We actually went to high school together, which is... Yes crazy which totally is, crazy oh my god I need to go into those details about that but um yeah so I just decided that I wanted to have this amazing amazing artist on the show so I want to share her with all of you so Aww. before we get into our little chat as I like to call him um first of all what's going on in my life well I was just in Calgary and I did my first live show in 18 months with the big band and it was amazing Woo! Yay, us. So I'll be back uh, to Calgary to do the Christmas shows December 4th, 5th, and 11th. So stay tuned. So exciting. Right? Oh, mm -hmm. So exciting. It's so amazing to just be in front of like humans again and, and connect. Yes. Ah. yes. Oh, and you're so good at it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> aw, thank you. And to just be with like my fellow musicians too, you know, and really vibe with them and have beers after rehearsal and just like. Totally. Just being like, I wanted to say I'm wearing my special heart, new heart sweater for just for you, Holly. For heart. I love it. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so cute. I would totally wear that. Yes. <laughs> um. So what I want to talk about first too is um I released my latest video called Golden Earrings, and the reason why I want to share is because Holly is a multi-talented artist and she's also a performer as well and she is starring in the golden earrings aren't you looking mm -hmm. amazing in that video i love you're so hot oh my gosh kelly <laughs> Damn, you're too kind <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> yeah too kind oh my gosh um yeah that that video is just amazing though so it was an absolute honor to be in that so yes <laughs> you're like an angel in it so if you, you know and yeah it's just oh stunning so if you haven't checked out golden earrings anything you need to check out just to see this babe because she's so badass and just gorgeous and just such a you're such a beautiful woman inside and out and I'm just so excited to just hang out with you today. And and I, we're gonna talk a little bit about what's going on for you. But first and foremost, I have this amazing thing here that I have been patiently waiting to open because Miss Holly's artwork is stunning. And if you haven't checked her out on Instagram, follow her on Instagram, mm -hmm. and you can see all her amazing work. And I was just sitting there, I was just like, I want a Holly original in my home. Remember? Yes, I remember you texted me and you're like, I love all of your work. And it's like, oh, Tian, you're so sweet. Everything was sold, which is awesome yes. for you, of course. And I was like, darn. So yes. then tell me what you did next with your art. Well, um, yes, the, uh, my originals don't stick around for long, which is so amazing. And thank you everybody who, um, collects my work and all my collectors out there. Like, honestly, you guys, I can't do this without you guys. So that's so much love. Uh, but then I had, um, good friends and just other people contacting me, um, by either just looking at my Facebook or my Instagram or my YouTube and just saying, okay, like I, we want to see some of your stuff. So I thought, okay, well, how about I experiment with this and try to branch out and make things a little bit more widely available. So I have so many, <laughs> I have so many um, different bodies of work. Um, the one that uh, Deanne's going to open up, and I think the one that Deanne fell in love with, is something that I call the Dreamscape series. Mm -hmm. So they're kind of loosely based off of um, the concept of tarot cards. So all of this series of work is, is meant to have a, a deeper meaning. So it it's, uh, works on symbolism and um, different layerings of collage and that sort of stuff. And everything is meant to have a deeper meaning in life. So Deanne has chose one specifically, which I'm so excited about. And as I said, so it was my first print, print launch in August. And uh, <laughs> so Deanne... I'm going, I'm opening. 
<laughs> she's been holding on to this for a while and here we go so it's the the unveiling of her print unveiling of my print and betsy is so excited that i'm finally opening this i just want to make sure i don't cut you know i gotta be careful with this thing with an exacto knife <laughs> totally don't worry it's pretty well packaged on the inside okay good because you know I, pff, that would be terrible <laughs> <laughs> That's a oh, oh my gosh. we're not even going to talk about that we're just going to Oh, yeah. okay. And if you guys want to see this, um, some of the series that I was doing on here, if you check out my Instagram, so it's Indigo Holly, um, and then you can check out it's me because you'll see Holly McWilliams. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see where I was starting to do the Dreamscape launch this summer. And just as a bit of a tease, I had a few of the different paintings, which of course have long sold, but some of my all time favorites. And uh, so there was very few that I experimented with just doing this print launch. So I only chose five images. Um, yeah, and so the, choosing those five images though, oh my gosh, that was so hard. I, I did this that. one specifically though, because of you, Deanne, because you <laughs> talked to me and you're like, I love this one. So I'm like, okay, so that will be one in the print launch for sure. You are the best ever. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, it's so amazing. Yay! Oh my oh, goodness. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, oh so exciting. So these prints are done on an enhanced matte paper. And I'm just so pleased with the color of them. And the finish of the paper is really just beautiful. Um, I made sure to work with all local um, Calgarian people to make this uh, print launch successful. And this piece is called Fortune. It's amazing, you guys. You have like it is. It feels amazing. It's like lot. I mean, you can see on the screen, but it like it looks so freaking amazing. Oh my god, I'm like gonna cry. And we, I just this was. I just loved it, and so did Baptiste because we wanted to invest in Holly's art because I think that's important to invest. You know, as we're artists and a fellow Canadian yes. and. You know, and I just, you know, I want more local art and, and well, I mean, I'm in Montreal, but you know, like local, like, you know, yes. Calgary and like just we both resonated because Baptiste, of course, he plays poker. So he resonated. I was like, all right, baby. Well, the ace is good, right? And he's like, yes. Yeah. And then, of course, I resonate with the fortune telling and the connection in the tarot mm -hmm. and the and like this is just so perfect. Like, And I loved uh, your your new video of the golden earrings because I felt like the vibe of the fortune teller was just so in that. So this was so fitting that you chose this piece, you know, like it, it I just felt like it really resonated with you and what you're doing right now. Um, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but in the background, there is the ace of clubs. Yes. And so... Yeah, all of these, as I said, meant, are meant to be kind of tarot cards. So our, our regular playing cards that we have were actually built off of tarot cards. So way back in the day when all the witch burning went on, um, the tarot cards basically turned into our playing cards. And uh, the ace of um, clubs here is, yeah. represents the ace of wands. So it's about um, initiating, it's about passion and a spark for life. It has a lot to do with creativity. And so it's about going forward with things. So also, once again, Deanne, that's amazing that you chose this because I feel like it's just so 100% what you're doing in your life right now. Oh my gosh, see, I didn't even know that stuff. I was just like, the ace is such a good card in poker. If you, <laughs> if you look in the package too, there is, um, there's a little card that I put in there, like a thank you. But then oh, that explains a little bit about this piece. So then that way, everybody who purchases one of these pieces can have the idea about the background of why I created it. Like what's what's um, the mythology, so to speak, behind it. Oh my gosh, there is belief in oneself with the promise of future growth and potential because the fortune is within you. Trust that you can do whatever it is that you need to do mm -hmm. in order to receive what you desire. <gasps> Dream mm -hmm. big, my love. You were supported. The Ace of Wands. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. Like, I mean, I already knew that, but like this little nice little touch that you put in here too. Like, I'm gonna take pictures and I'm gonna put this, you know, on my socials and all the things too. Oh yay! I want to keep sharing you. I was been waiting to see that. <laughs> so uh -huh. we definitely okay. So everybody, okay. So everybody needs to go onto her website and buy a print. Is what mm -hmm. I'm suggesting. And you've got some other things. We've got some Christmas stuff going on. You've got some art. So let's keep talking more yes. about what's going on. 
Oh my gosh. So there is so much stuff going on this, this fall and kind of going into the winter months. Um, I'm diversifying and I'm trying a whole bunch of new things. So uh, there will be these dreamscapes that are still available if anybody's interested in them. And as I said, I have five different images. Um, there's a selection of different sizes. So uh, Deanne has one of the larger sizes. Of this, so. Which is there's a uh, smaller ones. There's uh, canvas prints, uh, you name it. So I tried to be, and we'll have a lot of variety. Yeah. And then this year, I know it's well, maybe a little too soon to talk about this, but I also did design some Christmas cards. So if anybody wants to have some artisan Christmas cards or um, something that just puts out a little bit more of an artistic touch to the people that they love, that should be coming up on the website soon. And the website, by the way, is indigoarts.ca. Yes. Um, so yeah, indigoarts.ca. And uh, not only with the Christmas cards, I'm going to have a new print launch. So as I said, I have lots of different bodies of work. And one of the newest ones that's come out uh, in the last little while, which I'm so excited about, are the illustrative landscapes. Ooh. So I did a photo shoot up around Lake Louise, uh, Bow Lake, Moraine Lake, all of the beautiful places that we have in and around Alberta. And I've got some really amazing photos that I've worked with to create this whole series of work. So I'm not going to tell you exactly what the images are, okay, okay, but okay. those, there'll be three of them and same sort of idea. So then people could get them with the enhanced matte paper or a stretched canvas, or even just printed on canvas. Um, so there's going to be a huge variety. So I'm, I'm excited about this, you know, um, it's going to be the first time ever that uh, people who've wanted to have my work can actually have the work and it's a little bit more accessible and you know with original paintings you can only there's only one special home that lives in forever yes uh, but the wonderful thing about prints is that if you fall in love with it it can be yours you know I know so, yeah. I'm so grateful that you you know again decided to move forward with that because even all the ones I was looking at they were they were gone they were already in their forever homes which again is amazing for you <laughs> but sad for me I was like oh. <laughs> and you can also have your art displayed in in um in art uh what do we call them art gallery galleries yeah. art galleries all around alberta right um yes alberta and a little bit into bc so i'm represented by three different galleries i have art on ninth in invermere bc mm -hmm. and then i have avon's gallery in canmore and then i have linham house gallery uh kind of a little closer to home in okotoks um alberta so yeah, it's, I, I feel very special that uh, all three of those galleries are wonderful, really cool galleries. So if you ever make it to Invermere or Canmore or Okotoks, definitely check them out. They have some amazing artists. Oh, yeah. Right. Just being part of a collective, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I feel very honored to be a part of that for sure. Okay. Well, we'll make sure we put their like details in the in the description and awesome. everything like that so people that, you know, uh can check them out if because you know it's something to do you know you were in calgary and you want to take a drive to Canmore or even oh, yeah. okotoks or um and where's the other one so invermere invermere so invermere is you know. so a little farther you know uh, you but know. if you're in calgary you have to take a drive to the mountains like Canmore, banff like yeah if you're visiting you have to do all of that <laughs> And not only are you like fantastic, amazing artist and performer and all the things, but you're also a mentor and a teacher. So you've got yes. a workshop coming up. Mm -hmm. So I teach, uh, I've actually been teaching for, oh gosh, this is going to be really dating myself now, but over 20 years now. And so I have multiple classes a week that I run right now. I downsized this fall. Uh, usually I would take on 60 students at a time, but this time I've downsized to 40. And uh, I just wanted to have more time in the studio. And what I'm trying to do is um, basically launch a little bit more workshops. So all of my workshops are based off of kind of my own experience, because like, Deanne, you know this, like when you're an artist and when you're trying to um, express yourself or, or learn a new thing, there's some certain points that are just hard, <laughs> really, really hard. And it's like, okay, I'm not getting this not getting this right mm -hmm. and so I found that my personal experience over the years um it was sometimes really hard to find the information that I needed um maybe to find the the classes or the mentors I just you know it, I I 
found that there was a little bit of a lack. So all of the workshops that I teach are really honing in on very specific things that I had problems with, but over the 20 years of teaching that I've noticed that my students have had a hard time with. Oh, wow, so, how insightful is that, wow. Well, and you know, this is the whole thing because my, my, my point when I get into mentorship and coaching and being an educator is that it's, it's my job to bring out the inner artist within other people. Mm. And uh, that's unique and special for everybody. You know, like we all have our own voice, just like how our handwriting is different. Our artistic nature is different. Um, and I'm sure like, Deanne, you can think about that with your, your voice. Oh. Like you have such a unique, powerful, beautiful voice. No one else has your voice. No you know and that's like but such I, yeah know. and i have to remind myself sometimes of that it's like yes. i am me this is my voice i am not going to sound like anybody else or should i try to sound like anybody else yes oh my gosh and that's it you should not try to sound like anyone else and i think there's a certain point in the artistic evolution um that we realize that but at the beginning it's like oh no i want to be like this i want to be like that i want to paint like vincent van gogh and maybe Vincent van Gogh isn't your jam, right? <laughs> it's amazing art, but it might not be your art. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I digress about the artistic nature of all of us. Um, the, the workshop that's coming up is um, specifically about color theory. Um, I call this workshop, how to mix the right color. So then that way it's just really basic of what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You'll see that there's tons of books out there saying color theory, blah, blah, blah red and blue make purple. And we've all learned color theory growing up, right? But then as an artist, red and blue don't necessarily make the purple that you're looking for. So any artist out there, you know, you go into an art store, you look at a rack of paint and there's like 16 different reds and like five different yellows and 26 different blues. And it's like, oh my gosh, overwhelming. What do you even choose? You know, Are we based on Pantones then? How is that, is that how it works? I'm not sure. It's based on how the pigment is made. Okay. So this workshop really breaks this down. So that's such a good question, Deanne, because um, individual pigments, maybe they're ground from minerals and rocks, or maybe some pigments are collected from crystals or um, there's a ton of different ways that we have got pigments. Now, pigment means color, right? And then throughout the last how many hundreds of years of artists, we've had to grind our own paint and all that. Now we have art stores, right? So as an artist, when you're trying to figure out color theory, in theory, yes, red and blue make purple, um, red and yellow make orange, so on and so forth. But because of those artist pigments, depending on what they're made out of, that is the next step of knowledge that every artist needs to know. So this is how to mix the right color. And it's the ultimate guide to color theory for artists. And it's specifically for artists. And so that's gonna happen um, in November. November, and is it for like all levels? Is it for beginners? Like I have never, me be an artist, I mean an artist, but not like, woo. <laughs> you know, I've never done a painting class in my life. So my, my sister is more of the artist that way in regards to that. But for myself, like I've never, so like if I was, you know, like a super newbie and on, you know, cause you know, I am kind of looking for hobbies too myself. Yes. You know, cause music mm -hmm. is my passion and my job. So it's like, now I need some hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I totally I know. Get what's, your, what's your hobby actually because you know painting and art I mean I mean you're also a beautiful dancer as well but what would you consider is your hobby right now probably and this is going to sound super nerdy but I'm so into it I love astrology so like my hobby is like nerding out on astrology it's yes. like what sign are you <laughs> I love it so much, <laughs> but oh, you're right. Like everybody needs to have like a, a, a form of pastime for your interest. Oh, so yeah. But just kind of, you know, that's not even about making money. It's just yes. like legit. Like what I'm doing right now, I'm kind of really digging, just doing like a little bit of graphic design. I just get to yes. like, you say nerd out. I'm like, Ooh, I like the way this looks. And it's, I get to be creative, but there's no pressure. It's just me having fun. Oh, and cool. Right. Just, yes. 
like I think I found it. I just said to Baptiste, I'm like, I think I have a hobby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dan, you're gonna have to share me some of the stuff that you've been designing. That's so cool. I'm totally <laughs> into that. <laughs> I know, right? I'm just like, holy smoke. So okay, so the workshop's having November and they people mm-hmm. so going back to all levels or do you have to already have some all levels oh. no it, it right. totally all levels so the only prerequisite to this workshop is that you have to be into art <laughs> like if you're if you're one who who would take a workshop if they're not into it so as long as you're interested in painting and yeah. you want to learn more about painting this is the workshop that will teach you everything that you need to know and so is- especially with mixing colors is it in person it is in person. So it's so exciting to be able to do in-person workshops again. So the class size is really limited. Um, this is a information packed workshop. So I make sure that I have small class sizes so that I can get a lot of that individual intention um, and attention out to everybody. Um, but, and actually I haven't told anybody this, so I'm totally like sharing secrets. Yes. I've actually videoed a bunch of my really um, sort of top most important workshops. I've spent a lot of time this last year with an amazing videographer. And um, so I will be having some video series coming out. Uh, Once again, keep your eye on indigoarts.ca or any of my socials. And um, now this will open up to anybody outside of Calgary. So those of you who maybe are in Montreal listening to this or wherever you may be, um, January, February, March of next year, if you're interested in this, um, there's going to be a version for you. Oh, that's fantastic news. You know, I think that's just so great that the way we, why we have technology and how, you know, we as artists, we can share more with the world now because of technology and, and, you know, sharing our skills with people in countries we wouldn't even imagine you know like I for me like my music was on Spotify and YouTube and so people from all over the world can connect Mm -hmm. I think is awesome you know so just you being able to share you know yourself as a as a mentor and a teacher all over the world because your art's already all over the world but (laughs) you and your skills and people Mm -hmm. that you know would maybe want to fly into Calgary to take a workshop with you now they can't you know so it's just kind of it's good how things have evolved over, you know, the last while and, and you just get to, you know, because I was on your website, you talk about, you know, you know, your goal is to inspire. Yes. Yes. I just think that's beautiful. And, um, I'm just so thrilled. And I just have this, I'm also loving your backdrop. Like, (laughs) this is one of my favorite paintings. I'm sorry. My head is in the way and I have a shadow on it. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Perfect. Um, I have a, so this body of work uh, with the really, really just super bright landscapes, you can see I got really into, um, well, just sunsets and sunrises. And all of these were painted basically just 100% kind of from my mind, from a really abstract point of view of just wanting oh. to express in color. So oh, yeah. That one for sale? <laughs> you know what? It's funny, this this whole line sold immediately. Oh, and okay. um this one I kind of held back from the galleries because I loved it so much. Aww. So um, I do that, you know, not all the time, but every once in a while, there's just a painting that comes around. I'm sure you feel that way with your music. Every once in a while, there's a song that comes out or maybe some lyrics that you create that's just immediate goosebumps or it's like so inspiring for other things. And, you know, those are the ones that you want to make sure that you're holding on to. So I call those my my key pieces or my signature pieces. And this in in some respects was because I, I found uh, it was so liberating to not have a reference photo at all. Often I paint from reference photos. Mm-hmm. And because I was just expressing and throwing paint and um, really just wanting to radiate the, the landscape and the sunset. And oh. I just loved it. Like it's just inspiration and color. Every time I look at it, it brings me joy. I, so I, I've been, like been having all the joy looking at it too. It just so, yeah, it's just like, ah, uh, so it's kind of, would you call it maybe like a download painting then? Cause like when I get downloads for songs, it, it literally just comes from a higher place and there's like, blip. I would totally do that. I love that you call that that because I, yeah, sometimes I feel like, you know, and maybe that's just the artistic nature. Like I, um, of course, I, I, I'm thinking like downloads for you with music and lyrics and songs, but yeah, I feel that way with paintings often. Um, I'll get images in my mind and then sometimes they'll be brewing there for a while. 
And then what I'll do is I'll either um, hire models for a photo shoot or I'll start cultivating things that will remind me of that. Like maybe maybe it's a color and then I'll, then I'll go shopping and it's like, oh, this pillow is like the color that I want. And then I'll grab the pillow and I'll just start cultivating to form the, the ideas a little bit more. Because yeah, it is. It's just, I do feel like downloaded. That's yep. such a good way of saying that. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it's however it's supposed to, you know, sometimes like when I'm writing music, I, I literally like have my phone and I'm like, la la, and like singing the melody line on the phone in the middle of the night. I'll wake myself up literally in the middle of the night to oh like my God. Hear the melody or what I'm trying to, yeah. It's, it's I love thing. that. Yeah, like, and something bad taste. One time he's like, babe, babe. He's like, I don't know if he thought I was like sleep singing or something. I was like, sleep? I'm recording a song. He's like, oh. <laughs> oh my god that's so funny <laughs> it just happens i just i'm like i can't lose like i literally force myself to wake up so that yeah I forget what awesome i'm creating in my dreams you know so. <laughs> yes but oh have, that's so amazing but i've learned so much just hanging out with you today on uh, you know about art and how your process is and like i you know i'm so excited again to have you just hang out with you today and i can't wait to share you with everyone and again everybody christmas presents you know you could even if you know someone in your world that wants to take some art classes those are great gifts get signed up with holly all the information will be in the description her website or insta facebook you know all the things that you can get in contact with her and again like it's just been such an honor to hang out with you today and thank you so much again i can't wait to put this up on the wall take some photos i'll do all that do all the shares and anyway all right well this is time for us to wrap up today but thank you uh, again everybody well, Holly williams from you. indigo arts and a très bientôt tout le monde à la prochaine